Hi everyone, welcome to The Last Drop. I am Chris. Uh, how are we all doing this evening? Uh, see, we've got a few people in the chat already. Uh, Luna, Toby, and Society Dweller. Oh god, why can't I remember your name? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, how is the audio? I mean, obviously we always have audio issues. Um, hopefully let me know that it's all good. Tony, of course it is. Sorry, Tony. Excellent. Well, I'm going to presume that my audio is okay because of that. Uh, Paul Gibbs, hi, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Thanks for joining me. Excellent. Right. So, today is my little... I thought I'd better do uh, something about it. Um, I've done a little montage video, um, which I will actually show you in a few minutes um so hopefully that's going to be cool um but yeah i thought better do a video of something related to the whiskey show <laughs> uh so i thought i'd do like a a little live stream and give me my thoughts about it um what we did uh how i went about things uh yeah go from there um first of all uh first of all because we've already done stuff but um, massive shout out to Toby from Whiskey Dead for getting my ticket. Um, he won a competition and was very, very generous. Um, thank you very much, Toby. It was brilliant. And of course, I was there with him. Really, really good. Uh, let's see who else in. Whiskey Pilgrim's in as well. How you doing, Freddy? Uh, we tried some uh, Swedish stuff over there, um, which we... Tagged you in a few of my posts and that uh, high coast, which is not on my list. I'm gonna write that down again. It's up here somewhere. High coast as well. Uh, I've done a whole list of whiskies um, that we tried, um, and it just keeps going up and up from what I remember. I two on there. So, okay, cool. Right, so. Um, Audio is dropping out for me at times. Uh, okay, let me just fiddle with my microphone. Hopefully that will be better for you. So what I'm gonna do now is um, sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy it. It's only two minutes long, so don't go anywhere. Just, yeah, enjoy the little video. video Well, that was a disaster, wasn't it? Um, I do apologise. <laughs> uh, oh man, that worked like earlier. I mean, I can't believe that didn't work. I mean, technical issues is like the bane of my existence. Um, I do apologise greatly. <laughs> uh, let me just sit quickly see. I mean, this is going to be a dreadful stream now, but um, let me see if I can... Give it to you again. Right. 
Browse for the file. Okay. Video. Uh, it got taken off YouTube, probably. That there was no Glenn Levitt in it, though. So. <laughs> Uh, why? Honestly, I don't know why. Uh, anyway, I will put it up later. You can go and watch it uh, afterwards, maybe. This is dreadful. What the hell? Why isn't that working? Let's give it one more go, shall we? 6.45 on a Sunday. What the actual... Nope, crap. There we go. Well, that was brilliant. Oh, best laid plans and all. Never mind. Audio but no video, yeah. Ugh. What the actual hell? Uh, there we go. <laughs> uh, cool. But anyway, uh, whiskey show. Uh, what a trip. That was a really good day. Um, up early, very early at sort of half past six, quarter past six, uh, down to the station, got on a train, uh, met Toby at Lewis Station on another train, uh, up to Victoria, although they all got off at um, Clapham, I think, or East Croydon, one of the two, um, which was quite funny, because uh, they were all going to London Bridge and I was in Victoria, uh, but yeah, best play plans. <laughs> Uh, then we, yeah, then we went for breakfast at the Breakfast Club, um, which is a bit of a chainy restaurant. Uh, went on my Instagram, you probably saw the breakfast burrito picture, and uh, that was really cool. I uh, really enjoyed that. Uh, after that, yeah, we went and queued up. Lovely, a lovely long queue of standing in. Great, really, waiting. Then it got to about half eleven. Uh, they came round about elevenish actually, and gave us all wristbands. Um, so they went up the queue and scanned all our tickets and gave us wristbands. So it made it easier to enter the thing, which which I thought was a very good idea. Uh, and I wish more uh of events that uh, done that. Um, although the ones I've been to previously, the cognac show wasn't really that busy. So. Uh, that sort of situation. Uh, so that was good. Yeah, so then, yeah, then we got in. Then, then it all started. And I'm, I'm going to go through the list. <laughs> what a long list. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's go through. So it ended up myself and Toby. Um, we went around together. Uh, a bit later on, we met uh, Johnny from... Uh, Spirits people, shouldn't forget, as I'm going to be on there tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, so that was really good um, meeting them. And let's go through the list. So Toby and I started off at Dalmore. Think to that, yeah. So Toby and I had never had Dalmore before. Um, so we were like, "What's the big fuss about all this E1 coloring?" stuff and things and yeah <laughs> so we went there uh, which was really really cool uh, I mean it's, it's, it was an alright um, we had I believe the King Alexander the third or something like that um, and then we had Garblend and something else uh, which we, we really enjoyed the cigar blend of the others, I think we started off with twelve. Uh, I know, mean, yeah, you're all saying, yeah, no, no fan of Dalmore. Um, unfortunately, it was all right. It was an all right whiskey. Um, I think if you watched Antonio's video at the weekend, uh, he was um very much yeah. We um, it was all right. 
nothing spectacular, but it was alright. But the cigar blend I found that was the best one, um, which I think probably Toby would. Um, but yeah, that's where we started. Bit of a random one, I know, but it was right inside the door. Uh, let's give another couple of shout outs to people. Uh, Matt here, whiskey is in. How you doing, Matt? Uh, Mark Sling is in. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for coming along. And Neil from the Whiskey Trials, how you doing? I missed. Oh, right. So from there, we went upstairs to Glen Scotia. Um, previously, we'd done, if you watched my um, other video from Bimba, uh, we had Glen Scotia Tasting Whiskey Club. Uh, so we didn't really want to try this stuff. They were, they were a bit like, eh, want to try this? No, we, didn't. no we, we were there last week. Um, so then we had, uh, da, 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 they had a barrel there, um, which if you'd seen my video, uh, and then Toby's video, you saw him trying to hammer out the bung, so you have to hit around the bung, and then it pops out, uh, which was really, really cool. Let's <laughs> give it a good old welly, um, which was good. Uh, and then we tried, uh, they took a sample out of the barrel, which we tried, which was really, really cool, uh, and a great little gimmick that I had there. That was good. Uh, then it sort of, layout-wise, it was... Slightly strange. So downstairs, like where all the big boys were, um, it, not saying that the guys upstairs weren't big, but um, upstairs was then like a T. So the front of the building was like uh, Glen Scotia had that whole bit there. I can't remember the block alone when we were in there. Um, but then the other side, they had like the barrel journey thing that they were trying to push. Um, so they had. Uh, a few different distillers that were up there and downstairs as well and in the area uh, which was sort of a long corridor that went all the way down to the drum at the other end um so yeah so from Glen Scotia we went across the top of the T um and then in there we had Darwood um JJ Corey uh Maker's Mark and that was cool because we got to try a bottle that apparently there's only three bottles of makers of this particular mark rco6 i think from memory um bit of a random name uh but yeah that was really good uh then from there we went to feeling had a couple there that was really nice i really liked the one with the blue label uh i can't remember what it was called but i'm sure toby will as well uh so yeah so that was the end of that tea uh if I've missed something, I apologise, but um, thought again, Toby will let me know. Uh, let's hit back to the chat. Who else we got? Uh, da, 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 da. We've got the Whiskey Dram. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, and the Whiskey Friend, Alan. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Uh, good to see you in. Yeah, this is one of my most popular live streams. Brilliant. <laughs> Uh, cool, so back to uh, what we tried. Uh, so in there we went down to the centre bit of the tea, which was sort of lined either side with um, stands. Uh, we went straight to Cotswolds Peated, uh, well, straight to Cotswolds and tried their Peated, um, because um, Vin goes on about it all the time, and we thought we'd try it before he did. <laughs> uh, which we did. Uh, then I think this is where it's not blurry, but there was a lot. We went to a lot of them up there, uh, and so I'll just go through them. We went to High Coast, um, which obviously we saw Whiskey Pilgrim, uh, Freddy's um, videos recently, uh, and yeah, we tried a few of theirs. They were really, really nice. Uh, then we we went to Whistle Pig as well. So Whistle Pig's quite a trendy brand, I guess. I don't know whether it is, um, but they do a lot of different barrel mixes and things like that. Uh, yeah, so they took stuff from like America and Canada and were blending it, things like that. So quite interesting. I didn't really know too much about them. But I've seen the name and things. Um, but yeah, some some nice whiskies there, nice bourbon sort of styles going on. 
Uh, then we were at uh, the Canadian stand, so they had uh, Block 40, and we tried Wiser's Dissertation there, which was really, really nice. Uh, JJ Corey again. Um, I think Toby's got the hots of the girl. Uh, Balcones we went to, uh, and they had the head distiller there, uh, I believe Jared. Um, that was really, really good. Uh, and Baby Blue, that was probably one of my highlights. And yeah, the smell, the aroma was really, really good. Like coffee popcorn, uh, and it was like butter kissed. If anybody knows in the UK, especially butter kissed popcorn, like packet popcorn, you can shelf. It was really, really like that smell when you open the bag. Brilliant. I thought that was, yeah, one of my highlights. I'm going to be looking out for getting a bottle of blue. Uh, what else? Let's quickly go back to the chat. Da 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 da. Ah. Got Alan. Here we ski. Did we try any Danish? I don't think we did. Sorry, man. Oh yeah, Toby saying, yeah, we tried the Whistle Pig ma Maple Syrup. That was outstanding. <laughs> that was, pr that, uh, saying that, that was probably the best thing we had there. I don't know what, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know whether I'd, uh, yeah, you should agree with that, but that was really, really, really good. Uh, da -da -da, and then, oh, so, back to the top of the tea. Uh, also up there we had Ven, which is uh, Swedish, uh, again, that we saw on Frederick's uh, channel, um, or that I had, I think Toby had seen it before, uh, and then, yeah, Toby was banging on about how it tastes like pineapple, uh, which it did a bit. Uh, then we met uh, Ardbaggy, uh, so you guys uh, probably know Ardbaggy, uh, first low. Uh, and yeah, then we ended up go sort of just wandering over to the signatory antique or vintage stand, um, which had some cracking. Uh, I can't remember which ones, but one of them was Glen Keith and the Ben Nevis, uh, and they were very, very good, very good. So yeah, so that's all that. So that was the tea at the top. So we've done a lot since then um so i'm gonna give a break there because we went for dinner um which was cool and what i'm gonna do now is open a little sample from lunar aaron so this is a saint saint killian signature one 45 percent tape on it and Everybody else drinking today all night, so maybe saying the Edward Dower. I don't think I had the Edward Dower, it's all a bit of a mix by then. Coffee, coffee. <laughs> You had hair side of an IKEA, David Evans. David Evans is in. Hello. Right. Didn't Killian signature one. Go. Luna's having herbal tea as well. Okay. Just me then. Uh, Luna, we did not meet Don Livermore. He wasn't here. He was um, just coming over for the Paris show. And, and obviously Greg's live. Looks like it's a school night. The first real whiskey in three years. Yeah, I've had a little bit of look. I hope. So odor-wise, sweet fruity notes of pear, caramelized apple, and mango, gentle aromas of malt and 
or creamy sweet. Taste is soft, mildly fruity, balanced spice. Echo. Now the finish is medium long aromatic spices with nutty finish. Fits well with freshly baked banana bread. Hey banana bread. Hey bananas. <laughs> Yeah, that smells, it does smell like a bit peary. So it's probably, um, stay quite nice with, um, David's pear. Lovely. bad fruity you can tell it's quite young um obviously three three years a soft mark uh, oh yeah quite fruity on the finish actually if you ask that's just my <laughs> so brilliant thank you very much luna much appreciated Icky. Right, so back to what we tried. Oh dear. So yeah, dinner, we went to lunch truck dinner, so this was about two, three o'clock. Uh and yeah, we were Johnny by then. Steve, Toby and Johnny had the chicken and I had the oh, which I believe I don't I've got Do have a um whiskey show very good. Stuff in it. Oh, my. And you in there, Mark? Oh. Telling you that the thing would change. Read that at all. Probably in there. I'm not going to bother reading it. Um, but yeah, it was very nice. Uh, the, like, the sauces were infused with different whiskies. Mine was Kalila, and the desserts, they were really nice. They were infused with Glen Scotia Double Cask, which is a big little Naz uh, bottling uh, for cheap. Really great butterscotch. One of those ones that I recommend. So that was cool. That was dinner, that was all downstairs in sort of a basement-y type area. Good. Uh, we then went on, then came back up, and we we're on the main floor now. Um, pretty much half cut. Um, where did we go? I wanted to go to Kill Karen, so we went there. Uh, tried the 15 year old. Old. They were both great whiskies, really worth trying there. Uh, then we went. I think we went to Bimba. I oh, know we went to Bimba. Uh, the audio keeps dropping out. And getting uh, why is it always audio issues? How's everybody else's audio dropping out? Um, well, I'll keep on going. I'll, um, broken audio for you. Man, I hate microphones. Hello? Hello? <laughs> uh, okay, right. Every now and then drops out. Well, let, let's, let, I'll hold it now. How's that? Um, sort of. Don't talk to me about audio. Yeah, I know, right, Alan? Audio on a live stream is just dreadful sometimes, but never mind. Uh, back to whiskey. <laughs> uh, we went, uh, these are in no particular order now, apart from the last two. I definitely know I went to those two last. 
Uh, so we've got uh, da, 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 da. yeah, McCallum we went to uh, and we tried something on there no idea what it was uh, went to Highland Park uh, where Toby had his dream dram of that 30 year old uh, which was also nice I believe I had a little something that I didn't do a dream dram because I completely forgot about it which was maybe silly I don't know but um, never mind <laughs> uh, we went to Lefroy as well and I think we tried the something new or was it Ardbeg we tried something smoky can't remember what it was sorry uh, then we went to Buffalo Trace because um, uh, Johnny was obviously uh, selling the pappy on there um, that point uh, we lost Toby I don't know where Toby went <laughs> uh, afterwards I think he went out for air whatever that means uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah we went to Buffalo Trace I had about three or four on there uh, so we had um, a couple of pappies and something else uh, then right at the end we went off to Mictors and we had I had Two or three on there with Johnny as well. Uh, one that they pulled out from underneath. Again, I cannot remember uh, for the life of me what it was. Uh, then somehow I got the train home. Um, and that one, uh, definitely, definitely, <laughs> don't ask me how I got home. <laughs> uh, but quite initiated by that point. Yeah, my wife will vouch for that. Vanished up there, apparently. Cool. Yeah. The bits that I got from the show. Oh, Toby went to the shop to buy a bottle again for sure. Had enough alcohol. Uh, well, we all had enough alcohol, I think, that day. It was very, very too much. Um, Yeah, got a few little trinkets and stuff. The Kill Karen pen. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Pin. This pin says on it, um, unravel subtleties of smoke, characterful casks, and the mystery of maturation. That, that, well, but it's quite a little pin. Position of the mic doesn't stop the. Okay. Well, I, I don't know, I can't do much now. Anyway, oh, need to get off Chris. Family turned up on <laughs> Oh dear. Well, uh, take care, Alan. Hope it's not bad news. I'm going to put my mic back on because I don't want to keep up. Uh, let's hope for. We do some. Right, there we go. I have done something else there. So that's good. Cool. Uh, yeah, so what we, pins, sorry, done that pin. Uh, no, yeah, not sure where I got that one from. I uh, got a Starwood whiskey pin. See there, in the light. Probably not focused. Uh, which is usual, I didn't focus my camera either, so hopefully my focus is all right. And a lot forty, which you can definitely see that one. Lot forty pin, double pin at the back as well. It's quite cool. I've uh, got a Balcones coaster, the original Texas whiskey, and a Balcones sticker. And that was pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> Not a great haul. Uh, quite happy with the pen because I like um, Kilcarran and the Glengyle guys. <laughs> so, yeah.
So yeah, I always hear Star Wars when they say Starwood. Yeah, I always think Star Wars when I hear Starwood. Uh, I don't think it's uncommon. <laughs> don't take him down the shed. Oh, well, oh is that um, Alan? Yeah, yeah. Hide the whiskey. <laughs> you take, Alan takes them in and out every time he films in that shed. It's amazing. <laughs> right. Hmm. Nice. Oh yeah, audio seems uh better, so that's good. Yeah, I turned I do I had a couple of noise suppression things on there, so I've just taken them off. Uh there's not too much noise going on around here at the moment, so hopefully that will be okay for audio. Uh I should just leave it alone, shouldn't I? Instead of playing and trying to make it better. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, there we go. That was the whiskey show. Um, it was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. Um, a great day, great company. Um, going up there with Toby was brilliant. Uh, uh, meeting his mates and his friends on the train, that was cool. And then obviously seeing him around the show and so forth. Uh, met uh, London Whiskey Club guys were all there as well, most of them. So we saw them, Satu and Shiv and so forth. That was really good. Uh, and a nice, nice to, you know, you go around and you see these people that you know. Uh, Ard Baggy, of course, that was really good to see him again. Um, saw him at the beginning of the year in Glasgow. But yeah, what a show. What a show. It was definitely intense. Um, I would honestly recommend that you spit more. A hell of a lot more. Um, just, just get rid of that whiskey. Don't swallow it. It's, it's gonna do your, do your liver and your kidneys and whatever. And it's, I, I found like towards the end the stuff that I was drinking. I mean, I drank those pappies, but I couldn't tell you what they tasted like. But you know, <sighs> never mind really. Um, but I have tried them. But I can't tell you what they were. <laughs> um, so yeah. But I think yeah. I think if you would go. I think you want to be more. Yeah we did pour a lot away Toby. But um, yeah I think if you want to go again. Then I definitely would pour more. Try to spit more. And I definitely would go. Even though there's like 900 odd whiskies. Uh, I definitely would plan more on what I want to drink um so i would like to do um i would like to have gone there gone right okay this is what i want to try bang 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 uh and then once i've finished that small list big list um it'd probably be small i'd want to try and keep it sort of between five and ten distilleries that i specifically would like to go to uh and then then just then it can be a free for all then go and try and stuff that you you may not have heard of tried before um but yeah maybe a bit more planning that would be that would have been good luna aaron did you have to pay for extra extra for each dram no luna um tickets are actually about 110 pound each um so that was uh interesting um <clears throat> then pretty much most of them were on sort of free pour but obviously like 10 cent litre shots because they were those poorer things in most of them uh and then if dream drams so bottles that were sort of over 150 200 quid became dream drams and you got a token if you wanted to go up to the ones where there was like five tokens required then you could buy them for, i think they were like five pound each And yeah, like Toby says, they were about 100 quid if you booked early. So, I mean, it's worth booking early. Uh, and I probably will try and book early for next year. Uh, unless Toby enters more competitions. <laughs> uh, then you can always take a small drop and then throw anything away. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, it was difficult. Um... 
yeah, there was too much to drink, really. You, you needed to be a lot more sensible with it. Uh, and uh, in two weeks' time, so, f well, Friday week, uh, I will be going up to London again. Um, and this time I'm going to Rumfest. Um, so that's going to be cool. Uh, and this time I'm definitely going to concentrate a lot more on filming. Um, so that's going to be... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Try and concentrate a lot more on filming and less on drinking. Uh, and trying to find out more information. I want to try and get some more people on camera um, and, and so forth. And really highlight, because obviously my channel is The Last Drop. And it's a lot more overall spirits rather than just whiskey. Uh, so that's what I'm going to try and do. And get it get it going you know get it nice bit bit better content i think for everyone because i don't think a lot of people will be going to rum fest uh, especially here in the whiskey community and that'd be yeah i think that'd be good so uh let's give a shout out to dave from new dram drinker uh thanks for popping in <laughs> not sure you'll get sacked for being on your phone they might give you a stern telling off um but Never mind. <laughs> Did you just say, yeah, I'm just watching, you know, The Last Drop. It's important. It's about the whiskey show. <laughs> no risk, no fun. Yeah. <laughs> and Dave. It's Dave, everyone. Don't ever, ever call him Anthony. Uh, cool. Right. Bit of water, bit of water in my glass. I'm gonna move that because that's right by my fan and it's really, really hot. Dram number two from Luna. Seconds have happened, <laughs> wow. What, for being on a phone? That's, no. Uh, St. Killian Signature Two. Scissors, where did I put the scissors? Uh, there they are. There we go, right. So Luna, what's this one about? You managed to cut it not well. I've got cell safe stuck in my finger now. It's really, really annoying. There we go, right. It's Love Live. Matured in Amarone casks. Or Amarone, is it Amarone? I think it's Amarone, isn't it? So that's a, that's a red wine, isn't it, from Italy, uh, Amarone. Um, so this should be interesting. I mean, it's a much darker colour, uh, as you can see. Hopefully, yeah, so this is the signature one, signature number two. Uh, bottled at 54.2%. Sweet red from Italy, yeah. It's amazing how my memory works sometimes. I can't believe I remembered that. Little dram in there. <laughs> Sounds lovely. <laughs> Hopefully that was the poor. Right. Cool. No chestnut casks in there. Though. Yeah, the first one had chestnut cask, didn't it? I read that. Um. Go away, tape. Why are you so annoying? Unbelievable. Yeah, it's a lovely nose. It's almost chocolatey. I don't know where that comes across or whether I should get that. You get a sweet red wine note. 
bit grapey. Yeah, I'm almost getting a like a chocolatey orange now almost. But but more of a fries chocolate orange. So you know the creams, chocolate creams. Thanks for coming, Dave. <laughs> Sorry about the self <laughs> Big on flavour. I, I like their second signature, Luna. It's very, very nice. Oh yeah, you can see the sort of in some of the light. You can see sort of a red tint. It's sort of a pinkish. Reminds me of uh, the Glendronach Portwood, um, which yeah, which has pink bubbles. It's quite cool. In fact, I'm probably going to name my video Pink Bubble, so that's a spoiler alert for everyone when I do that video. <laughs> but yeah, that's nice. Uh, what flavours should I be getting? I, my palette's rubbish, as you all know. Uh, let me have a quick look on the old interweb. Uh, distilled in 2016, bottled 2019. I said 2016? Yeah. Their bottles are quite cool. I believe they're in the shape of their still. Uh, barrel signature, yeah, Exmer Amarone casks, 36%, uh, 50 litre casks, 225 litre casks, and 325 litre casks. So lots of different size Amarone casks there. That's interesting. Uh, odor, white peach, Ripe raspberries, creamy strawberry biscuit, creamy strawberry biscuit played together with hint of malt and hint of fresh mint. Oh, I love the power suggestion sometimes, don't you? That is definitely a raspberry shortbread biscuit, like with raspberry flavouring in it. That's really, really nice. Really like that. Taste is sweet, creamy candies, fruity berry desserts are followed by a spicy intermezzo with hints of cereals, cocoa, and aromatic oak. The Echo, I love the Echo. I'm gonna eat, nick the Echo. That's a great thing. A uh, long finish with fine oak, caramel, and fruit notes. Yeah, raspberries, freeze-dried raspberries exact, to be precise, uh, which is really, really nice. Yeah, I like that. Um, yeah, quite a long finish, stays fruity all throughout. Good, yeah, I'd recommend that one. Uh, thanks, Luna, really appreciate that. Um, signature number two. First one's nice though as well, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Um, but that that's a different level that is yeah nice really enjoy that I'm gonna save that one uh, I might yeah I'm gonna pour another one after this and um, yeah gonna make my wife try it she's <laughs> yeah is he still not asleep no. uh, unfortunately my child's still not asleep uh, he's been yeah, send him to bed about seven, but he's, yeah. Six-year-olds, what can you do? Uh, Art Baggy, welcome to the party. <laughs> if as you call it that. Uh, good to see you, Andy. Thank you. Uh, mentioned you several times earlier. Um, so that was really good. Uh, da, 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 da. So, yeah, Paul Gibbs, uh, thanks for coming along. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching in your tea break or your dinner or lunch uh, thanks very much uh, St Killen also have an exclusively chestnut matured really rich and spicy well, that's very interesting as well <laughs> ah, cool 
Right. Hmm. That's really good. I like that, Luna. Thanks. Uh, da, 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 da. So yeah, whiskey show. Um, really good. Uh, good map. There's a map. I don't know if you see that. There's the map of the thing. Uh, yeah, journey of the cask. Didn't really see any of that. I didn't go to any master classes or, or so forth. Um, which was is it a shame? I think it's sometimes tracks from the thing. I think you'd have to go for the whole weekend, which um, Andy did. Our baggy did. Uh, I think he was yeah, well away after pretty much both days. <laughs> And he was there in uh, Milroy's opening as well on the Friday, I believe, uh, which was cool. Uh, yes, Andy, it was my first time. Um, so, yeah, I popped my Whiskey Show cherry. Uh, I'd, I've, I'd done the Cognac show earlier this year, uh, which was really good. Um, but, yeah, Cognac's a different beast. Uh, but where? What, I mean, what, what, what show did I prefer? I mean, the Cognac show was smaller. Um, it wasn't as hustle and bustle because uh, there was a lot of people in there, wasn't there? Um, so yeah, I think Johnny's mentioned it in a video I watched earlier today um, that you sort of you sometimes you want to get the whiskey, you want to taste it, and just sort of savor it, sip it. Um, sometimes in a quiet environment. So I mean, for myself, I sit over in the corner uh, watching telly. Um, and I'll be, yeah, I just have my dram, and I'll be sitting there, close my eyes, sort of drift off into the nose and things like that. Uh, but yeah, the show it's it's a bit more difficult because obviously there's so many people around, and you're getting bumped and pushed and prodded and uh, things like that, which makes it more a different experience with the whiskey and. Yeah, I think that's maybe the one thing that is not great about it. Um, but, you know, you, you do get to try a hell of a lot of whiskies. And I mean, my list, and I mean, i only done that list um, about 20 minutes before starting today. Because <laughs> I'm not that well prepared. Um, but yeah, it was really, it was good and bad and mediocre all wrapped up into one i mean there were certain highlights and low points uh the food was not bad actually but, but i mean probably not too much to do with them but uh, that was good uh yeah and he's been going 10 years going to do three days going to do three days the trade on the monday that's all about the people not the whiskey yeah they didn't have the trade this year did they um which is unfortunate uh, uh, da, 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 I might try some small shows. Da, da, da. I might try small shows. There are a few regional ones here in Germany. Yeah. I thought the food was just that. Well, you're fussy and it didn't taste the pineapple, Toby, did it? So you were probably very, very disappointed. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cool. Well, does anyone have any questions they'd like to ask about the show? Um, that, that, that's a good point. Um, I'm pretty exhausted <laughs> all my banter about the show. Uh, all I wanted to say about it. Um, so yeah, let's let's head it up. Any questions, anyone? I don't even know how many people we got in. How many people we got in? Seven, that's cool. <laughs> what was my highlight? Uh, da, 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 highlight. Uh, I think my highlight. The Balcones Baby Blue. I know it's not a up there whiskey or anything like that, but the nose really hit me and really related because obviously smells that um, uh, 
sense that obviously triggers a lot of um, emotions and things like that. And yeah, just the smell of that buttery um, sort of sweet popcorn smell was really, really good. Um, and yeah, really sort of stood out for me uh, for, on a personal level somehow. I don't know why. Uh, we didn't really have a lot of butter kiss popcorn when I was younger, but it definitely a smell that triggered something in my head. So that was cool. Uh, other ones, the Glen Scotia um, barrel pour, that was nice. Um, obviously trying a few Glen Scotias back there, uh, a couple of weeks before, it was in my head of, of what it was. And what else, what else did I try? Oh, and that whistle pig uh, maple syrup. Man, <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> uh, yeah, the maple syrup, that was the best. Awesome. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, baggy. Would I go again? Yes, I will. I'd definitely go again next year if I'm allowed to. Uh, if I don't get too um, drunk. Uh, promise not to get too drunk. Uh, so I'll definitely go there. Uh, whiskey Dram, were there any specific whiskies that you wish you'd tried? There's ones I would wish I'd tried earlier. So I wish I'd tried the Buffalo Trace Pappy stuff, uh, the Pappy Van Winkle, uh, and the Mictors um, stuff uh, a bit earlier. Um, my palate was shot by then. Um, so that was sort of... A, glad I tried them but I'm sort of not glad because I couldn't really taste them properly uh, which was good and bad really I guess uh, other than that I think I might have liked to gone to Deanston and maybe a few more of the independent bottles I saw a Delphi were there and I'd like to have tried them um, and Douglas Lang I love Douglas Lang stuff um, so I'd have loved to have gone over and sin their stand too, but I didn't make it, um, which is probably why people go to two days. Um, but then that's difficult. Uh, next question. Uh, would I consider two days next year? Um, I'd consider in it. But I think I would probably stick to one. Um, I think like I was sort of saying uh, earlier, um, because my channel's not all about whiskey, uh, I wanna obviously do whiskey, but I wanna keep um, my hat in the other things. And I think even though it's the weekend, I. I'd rather like spend money on the cognac show and the whiskey show whereas I think if I'd done two days just the whiskey show I probably wouldn't afford the cognac show uh, even though I went for free but that's not the point <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Uh, you should set a theme for next year I'd be all just bourbon oh so you mean just um drinking bourbon just drinking oh yeah yeah i guess you could do that on the two days so first day you say you just drink um whiskies and then the second day you just drink like, like scotch and then the second day you just drink bourbon that'd be quite a good idea that's not a bad idea actually it's a good shout uh do, do, do. hey again tony <laughs> Uh, Mark Slinger, can you recommend one non-whiskey dram for me to try? One non-whiskey dram. <laughs> My wife just said Blackberry Gin. It's actually quite nice. Uh, it's called Tarquins. I think it's down in the West Country, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um... One non whiskey dram for you to try. I'm going to say uh, there's, there's a couple of nice cognacs. The Frappin 
um, cognac is really really good um, pretty much most of their stuff is great uh, and uh, another one uh, called uh, Abacasis uh, you might have seen it it's ABK6 uh, written down and like just the letters but obviously it's French so Abacasis um, their stuff is fantastic it's all sort of single estate cognac um, yeah really really nice and really do recommend that you sort of seek out their stuff um, but what I'll do Mark is I will also recommend some four square rum and I actually have one on my shelf at the moment and I will send you a sample uh, if I think I have your address but I'll I'll hit you up in the chat and get it again if not but yeah that's what I re would recommend uh, is a four square rum and with regards to rums I'm at um, the rum fest next week um, so that's going to be good uh, and hopefully I'll know more about rum by then or uh, after that so that, that would be good that would be good um, and then I'll yeah, definitely recommend some more rums then I think but uh, I had another one Diplomatico um, the two I've tried from there um, Ambassador and the Standard uh, Reserve one um, both are really really good really great and massive tobacco -y notes quite sweet so I think they add a bit of sugar um, which they're allowed to do but from a, from a product point of view uh, they are really really nice really nice really do sip well um, not overly complicated but cracking sort of deep a nice sort of um, winter rum I, I would say so that's good uh, right back to the chat uh, Cadenhead's 45 year old cognac yeah anything from Cadenhead's I'm finding I've got a uh, Dalween Dalween Glenlivet 14 year old blended thing from um, Cadenhead's that's really nice <laughs> uh, Abacasis uh, Luna Abacasis is A B E R and then that I think sort of cassis is in the spelling of the black current isn't it cassis but if you just type in abk6 and the number six um the, it'll, it'll come up on any um search engine so that's cool uh mark super i'm overdue sending more trends well, thank you mark I appreciate that <laughs> Yeah, Wissy Jam Luna, ABK6. Yeah, cool. So, yeah, there we go. I think let's. Yeah, if there's any. No other questions. Uh, no more recommendations of non whiskey things. Uh, I can think of a few more. There's some really good cognacs. Uh, I tried. If you didn't watch my video on Friday, uh, Brisson, that was fantastic. That was a great cognac. I'd never heard of them. Uh, obviously got a little um, sample from Drinks by the Dram um, but yeah really um, really really nice uh, not so much on the nose but the taste was brilliant really good really worth recommend looking out for that so yeah whiskey shared really looking forward to the whiskey show video yeah I can't believe that didn't work uh, for those that have just joined earlier uh later uh, i tried to play the video um but it just wouldn't it wouldn't play even though it played earlier which i don't know why it's not done it now. very very annoying uh our baggy when is it out i will i will make it live straight after this stream uh just because i was gonna obviously play it during this stream uh and then uh, I was going to release it on Friday, but what I'll do is because it wouldn't play during the stream, I will put it out straight after this is done. Um, it's all uploaded, everything's done. It's not very long, it's just uh, pretty much a montage, um, just a footage uh, that I got. Uh, very reminiscent to Toby's. Um, maybe not as good as Ed's thing as Toby's, but um, yeah, it, it will go up straight after this. So, cool. 
They were like, can you sell my son Benji Evans to go to bed? Benji, go to bed. Is my son asleep yet? No, nope, he's not asleep yet either, so... <laughs> I hear you, David. What the hell? I, I, it's probably because I'm talking. That's probably the why, the reason he's not going to sleep. Uh, but yeah. Cool. Well, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I really do appreciate all your chat and everything like that. Here's uh, a bit of water because my mouth is going to really be quite dry. Uh, but yeah, brilliant. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please, obviously, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, all that jazz. Uh, and yeah, let's, let's, yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it's been really, really good fun. Um, I hope you like my thoughts with the whiskey show. Uh, definitely an event uh, worth going to if you're ever in the area uh, of this time of year. Um, but yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks all for coming. Uh, that everybody pointing at your screen. <laughs> uh, that was the last drop.